Hi, my name is Vitaly and I'm an Amazon affiliate. And if you've heard the news, which you probably have if you're watching, uh, Amazon has slashed their affiliate commissions for a number of different product categories, like significantly slashed it. And this has a lot of affiliates pissed off and rightfully so. If you look at their email that they sent, they would take you to this link over here where it says what's changed. And as of April 21st, 2020, if you're promoting anything within these particular products that you see listed here, this will be the new commission rate. And it is substantially lower than it was before. Now, um, I happen to think that this is a huge mistake that Amazon is making uh, because affiliates are a huge reason as to why Amazon is where it's at in the first place. And I really predict that maybe within the next two years or so, Amazon may see a decline in sales because so many affiliates are going to be leaving it in droves for these kinds of policy changes. I certainly will be focused, will be promoting less on it. I'm going to stay with Amazon, but I'm just going to focus on more alternatives, that, alternatives. And that's actually what I'm going to talk about here. As an affiliate, uh, I've been I've seen a lot of bad shit happen in this business, and I've personally experienced it. I've had websites uh, make me a full time income just completely go down the drain nearly overnight. I've had ad accounts get suspended, which were also making me a lot of money, and uh, the suspension caused that income to just completely go down to zero. And I've had to bounce back from some really really bad shit that I've had to experience in this business. And doing that again and again helped me find a better way to do affiliate marketing. And what I want to share in this video is what I think you should do if you are already an Amazon associate and that you shouldn't really succumb to the panic or the fear that's going around because there's a lot of people freaking out about this Amazon thing. The fact is, if you are promoting something as an Amazon affiliate and a what I showed you in the screen about the different products doesn't affect your promotions and you're still getting paid the same, then of course I think you should, you should stay. I certainly will remain as an Amazon affiliate. But if you choose to leave Amazon, if you're going to be affected by it and you choose to leave, I'm not telling you to leave, but if you choose to, finding an alternative is actually really, really simple. I mean, all I have to do is just go into something like Google and type in the name of my product over here plus the word affiliate program. So for example, Let's say, hypothetically speaking, I think one of the categories that's being affected by Amazon is outdoors categories. And I have in my hand uh, a shoe known as the Salomon Speed Cross 4. This is an outdoor shoe. And uh, I think I was getting paid 5% for it, maybe, maybe something around that. And I promote this through Amazon. I have a site that promotes this particular shoe through Amazon. And I've made a number of sales through it. And if this new policy change affects me personally, I can easily hop into Google and just type in something like this, Salomon affiliate program and I already searched it up that's why it's in my search thing but it's gonna show me this result over here which I'm gonna click on and this is gonna take me to the Salomon affiliate program where if I look over here they offer a 5% commission so if Amazon was gonna be paying me less than that I could easily just switch over to this program and I can do that with any product that I want any product that you may be selling on Amazon right now that you were making money with if you want to you can find alternatives just like that it's actually really simple to do so adjusting to this change if it's affecting you negatively and you choose to leave is not difficult at all but as a, someone that you know makes a full-time income with affiliate marketing here are some of my income reports I've learned a lot of valuable lessons in this business and one of them the one that I want to share with you right now before I finish this video is that it's far more important to have one of the three things that I'm about to tell you about a fully sustaining blog that's getting traffic and making affiliate sales or a YouTube channel that's getting a lot of views and making affiliate sales or an email list that's also selling affiliate products and making sales if you have one of these things then things like what Amazon is doing or if some kind of other surprise happens from another affiliate network that you deal with does one of these things it doesn't really matter because the adjustment is very easy the most important thing is that you maintain one of those three things and I have at least two of those things present which is why my online business continues to make money in affiliate marketing a lot of people who are freaking out about Amazon and what they're doing they don't even have a good affiliate business to, to start with they don't understand that it's actually really really simple to find multiple affiliate programs and join them and promote products from them what's most important in all of this is that you have a stable affiliate business running for you. Like I said, a blog, it could be a YouTube channel, it could be an email list. If you have that, then your business can easily handle these changes that are going on and you can still continue to make money through the alternative ways that I showed you. Now, if you are someone that doesn't have any of these three things that I just made, you shouldn't even be worried about what an affiliate program is doing or what opportunities that are out there because the opportunities are gonna be there. But you need to make that stable nest that I was talking about, which is a blog or a YouTube channel or an email list. And in my personal opinion, the program that taught me how to create a long-term affiliate business that doesn't really 
suffer from these kinds of changes that happen with affiliate programs or that kind of stuff is a program called Wealthy Affiliate, which is free to try. I'll leave a link to it below the video. But I also will leave a link to the article that I wrote regarding Amazon's changes and other alternatives and things that you can do to adjust to these changes and basically come out on top. Long story short, I'm very optimistic because I've been through a lot of bad stuff in the affiliate marketing world and I know how to bounce back and I know how to help people adjust to these things. So whether you decide to stay with Amazon or leave it, there's always going to be a lot of opportunity. The most important thing that you need to create is a stable online business. That is your nest. Okay, so whether it's a YouTube channel, a blog, or an email list, I personally prefer the blog and YouTube channel option. Those are going to be the things that carry you through to success and really withstand all these different things that can happen along your journey as an affiliate. So with that said, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions or opinions about Amazon or your personal uh, recommendations, I'd love to hear that. Thanks so much.